All right, very nice work with the last three exercises. I hope you had fun with iframes and are starting to think about some creative ways that you can embed it into your homepage project. But what we're going to work on in this last exercise for lesson three is our career site. Remember the career site that we started in lesson two? You chose a career that you may be interested in, and we're basically going to be talking about some information about that career and we're going to be linking to some resources and etc. Basically, we're, in this exercise, we're going to continue working on it by exploring this career and some information about it on 12online.org. Okay, we're going to use this website to find information about the career we chose. And if you're not if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, you can pick the closest thing. Okay, so I ran into this issue while I was preparing for this video, but I'll let you know what I did. You can also take a look at some of the career resources that I'm going to link down in the description box. If you can't find what you're looking for here, or you're just curious about this career and want to just check out other sources of information and um, just get an idea of what else is out there. All right. So we're going to be working in the job info page. And what we're going to be adding is the following an H3 header at the bottom. Okay. We're going to put it at the bottom, but above the link to the home page. And it's basically going to say detailed information, and that's where we'll put in some more details on this career. Under the new header, you're going to use an iframe to embed the page from 12Net that discusses our job. We should make it 600 pixels tall and give it a width of 100%. So it's going to take up the width of our whole project. And we want to make sure that we put these rules in the style sheet. Finally, we are going to fill out the information for description, average salary, and employers based on what we find on 1Net or O-Net, sorry. Use an unordered list to list the employers and you can list the industries or specific companies that hire people with your job. Finally, we're gonna add the other information like salary and description with the P tags, okay? Just a note on the O-Net site, it contains nationally collected information about careers, such as where people are employed, how much the average average person makes and what the job outlook is. If you don't live in the US, you can use your country's information if it's available okay again i'm going to be linking other resources in the description box so if you're not satisfied with what you find on onet just take a moment and explore some of those other options okay so let's get started all right first we want to grab our code that we worked on in lesson two okay so this is going to be the web page that you started building or website i should say okay so we'll grab all of the code for the home page Okay, you should be able to see that when you run it. All right, right now it's just the title with the job that you chose, a description of the industry, and a little paragraph on why you're interested in this. Also, there's a link to the job information web page. Okay, so the job information web page, we also need to copy that code over. So we'll grab that code for job info and we'll paste it in here. Okay, that looks good. And then finally, the style sheet. I believe we did have a few rules, yes. So we wanna make sure we copy that over. I know this part's a little tedious, but we're gonna be building it piece by piece. So every single lesson, we'll just copy over what we had last and then we will save it. Okay, so let's start with the website that we're using. So onetonline.org. You can open that up in a new tab. And again, you want to search the job that you are creating this website about. So when I put in content creator, I didn't find that exactly. All right. So I ended up trying to search other things that might be relevant to this. And the thing or a career that I found that was the closest was producer. Okay, so I'm gonna be using that for the purposes of my project. It looks like the tasks are very similar to what I would be doing in creating online digital content, as well as the technology skills and knowledge that I'm gonna need. All right, so I'm gonna be using this for my project. Back in the exercise, we need to work on the job info page. So I'm going to go over to that page and we are going to add an H3 tag right underneath 
our set of tags that we already have, and this one is going to say detailed information. Okay, under the detailed information, we are going to be putting in an iframe that goes to the page for our career. So I'm going to grab this. For you, it's going to be different because you, you most likely have a different career unless you're going with this as well. But you want to paste the URL to your career page. Okay, we want to style this so that it is 600 pixels tall, so that's the height property. It's going to have a width of 100%, so we haven't used percentages for width yet, but this basically means that it's going to take up the width of your entire web page. Okay, let's save that. Let's run our job info and see what we got. All right, looks good. We got our iframe embedded in there. Okay, what's next? We need to fill out the information for description, average salary, and employers. Employers can be in an unordered list. We can also list industries or specific companies that hire people for this job. So under the description, we're going to go ahead and grab the description here. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste this. You don't need to retype this. Basically, the description for this is plan and coordinate various aspects of radio, television, stage, or motion picture production, such as selecting script, coordinating writing, directing, and editing, and arranging financing. So I am going to leave it as is. This is really close to what I'm doing online with my YouTube channel. Okay, we are also going to be putting in, oh, and don't forget, this should be in a paragraph. I forgot that. Okay, so make sure that you're formatting that correctly. Okay, if you don't want to scroll over, you can break these lines up. Remember, the web browser is going to ignore that. All it's concerned about is the paragraph tags. And you can even tab to make your code more readable, which I suggest doing. This is going to be helpful as we continue adding to the project. Okay, next we're going to type in the salary that goes with this career. Okay, let's see. That should be... I don't see it on the first page. Let's. Okay. So it looks like the salary information is right here under wage and employment trends. It gives the hourly wage and the annual wage. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and take a note. This is based on 2018. That's the most recent information. So it's pretty recent. Okay. We're going to paste that under the average salary and I'm going to just tab this into, and if you want to bold it so that it's bolded, just like it is on the web page, you can go ahead and add it. Remember, this is your project. So feel free to customize it however you want. As long as you meet the minimum requirements, you can add any extra information you'd like. Okay, so job information should now be updated with description and salary. Okay, this looks great. Now we are going to add in the employers and we want to use an unordered list. So I'm going to add in a UL tag. Okay, so let's see employers. Okay, so to find the employers, you can click on Find Jobs and it will search the database. You can put in the zip code that you are searching from and you can click Go. Okay, so it's going to give a list of job openings for this job. You can put some of the employers in your list. Okay, if there's a lot of them, okay, you can just narrow it down. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first three ones that I see. Okay, so NBC Universal is one. Okay, Walt Disney Television.
All right, and apple. Okay, so I'm just using the first three for the purposes of this project demo. Okay, but for you, I recommend browsing through in a little more detail. If you want to put in some of the related industries, you can also go back and use the list here of I just saw that where was it oh yes right here related occupation so if you want to list this you can for the purposes of my project I'm going to just leave it with the top three employers I found and I believe that wraps up this exercise. So one last time, you wanna just run that and make sure that everything looks right. You might wanna open this up in a new tab, okay, since we have quite a bit here. All right, so we got our description, we have our median wages, we got some employers, and the iframe tag for the own that page for our career. Okay, really nice work. We're going to continue working on this through advanced HTML and CSS. This wraps up lesson three on iframes. Very nice work. Any questions, leave them down below.